Unemployment and inflation. The Phillips curve. The Phillips curve relates to the observed statistical relationship between inflation and unemployment. In 1958, New Zealand economist A.W. Phillips published the results of his research into unemployment and inflation in the UK economy from data gathered between 1861 and 1957. Graphically, each dot represents a year of data, with the Phillips curve the line of best fit for the data. So, what did the Phillips curve show? When analysed, the data suggested a stable and inverse relationship between unemployment and inflation. At lower rates of unemployment, the inflation rate is higher. Policymakers were quick to exploit the curve. If the economy was operating at point A, with unemployment troublingly high at 6%, the government would pump up demand with a fiscal stimulus. It could then predict that, sometime later, inflation would rise. In the graph, to 4% as the economy moved to point B. However, if attention switched to inflation, the government would reverse its policy and impose a fiscal constraint. The economy would then move back to point A. The process of periodically stimulating and constraining an economy was called a stop-go policy. This dominated policy in the UK from the 1950s to the 1980s. So, what's going on? The belief was that the policy worked through its effect on the labour market. Reflating would cause the economy to expand. Unemployment fall. With wages and prices being driven up. Conversely, deflation created unemployment. With wages pegged back, 